Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Return of the Nephilim In the book of Genesis, it describes how in the days before the flood, a group of giant beings called the Nephilim lived on Earth. It doesn't go into deep detail, but it does mention the Nephilim were the offspring of fallen angels and human women. In the book of Enoch, a lot more details are given around the exact circumstances of the angel-slash-human breeding situation. God initially sent the angels to watch over his newly created humans, but the angels soon became obsessed with human women. They defied God by having babies with these women, creating the giants called Nephilim. This lasted for many centuries. The Nephilim slowly began to take over the world. The fallen angels taught them all the forbidden magic and science that ordinary mortals were not supposed to know. God eventually became so disgusted by the sin on earth that he sent the flood to wipe out the Nephilim. When the flood waters receded, humanity restarted, and Noah's sons went forth to repopulate the world. There is absolutely no scientific evidence that any of this happened. But it's written in the Bible, and many people believe it to be true. There are some who believe the Nephilim didn't completely die. There is even a bizarre conspiracy theory which claims the Nephilim survived the catastrophe of the flood and bred with a second generation of human women. They grew smaller, more like ordinary humans, and are still supposedly among us right now. I am very happy to announce that this video is brought to you by CuriosityStream. If you like our channel, you will definitely enjoy CuriosityStream. It's the best place to watch documentaries about science, history, technology, nature, travel, and so much more. They have exclusive, award-winning films and shows that you can't watch anywhere else. If you want to see something different, check out Into the Dragon's Lair. Here you will join Didier Noirot, who dove with Jacques Cousteau over 5,000 times. This documentary has incredible footage of adventures with the Nile Crocodile. By the way, keep an eye out for our video with Philippe and Ashlyn Cousteau coming soon. I've also really enjoyed Planet Insect that zooms in and gives you a view of what a bug's life is really like. Get up close and personal with bumblebees and mole crickets. It's a subscription-based streaming service that offers thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers. CuriosityStream offers the deepest collection of the best documentaries from around the world and for an incredible price. Available worldwide, it's the service for people who want to learn, explore, and understand more about anything and everything. And new shows are added every week. You can watch on all of your favorite streaming devices, so check it out! Go to curiositystream.com origins or scan the QR code for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and non-fiction series. And for our fans, use promo code origins and you will save 25% off. It's already one of the most affordable and best deals in streaming. So click the link below or go to curiositystream.com origins and save 25% right now. Number 9. The Meteorite Throne There could be a throne hiding in the Great Pyramid of Giza, one that's made from meteorites. The meteorite throne is said to be hiding in a mysterious void over 90 feet long that was discovered inside the pyramid. Archaeologists say it could have been built to help an unknown pharaoh pass into the next life. The throne has not been physically discovered, but we do have ancient texts that mention it. One of these texts, analyzed by researchers, claims the pharaoh will, before reaching the stars of the north, pass the gate in the sky and sit upon his throne of iron. It's a little vague, but it seems to suggest the pharaoh would be traveling to some other dimension far beyond. Perhaps the throne was an advanced device used for transporting matter. In 2017, the Scan Pyramids Project uncovered a mysterious void in the Pyramid of Giza. Researchers from Paris and the University of Nagoya in Japan found an unexplainable pocket in the pyramid. Fast forward to 2023, we still don't know what's hiding in the empty space. Some experts are saying it could be the secret location of the meteorite throne, built from pieces of the galaxy. Number 8. The Greeks in Iceland it is an irrefutable fact that settlers from Norway arrived in Iceland in the 9th century. The Vikings currently have credit for being the first explorers to settle the island. There have been rumors that Irish monks arrived in Iceland long before that, but those rumors have never been substantiated. Now there is a new theory that the ancient Greeks discovered Iceland over 1,000 years before the Vikings. 
New research suggests that the Greeks arrived on the island around 300 BC. Andrew Breeze from the University of Navarra says not only did the Greeks reach India during the rule of Alexander the Great, they also discovered Iceland with the explorer Pythias. But of course, it wasn't called Iceland yet. The Greeks referred to it as Thula, and after its initial find, nobody ever saw it again. The land went from a real place to somewhere mythical and seeped into the lore of ancient Greece. In the ancient writings of Pythias, he described embarking upon a voyage across the Atlantic to a mythical land he called Thula. He claimed it took six days to reach this land from Britain, and that it was the most northern place ever reached by his people. But the Greeks would have never seen anything like Iceland before. When they first set eyes on the island, they likely would have seen its skies shrouded in smoke and clouds from the active volcanoes. It would have been a hellish landscape of ice and fire and may have scared the Greeks so effectively they never went back. Number 7. The Ant People and the Anunnaki The ancient Native American tribe, the Hopi, told stories of the Ant People. The Hopi described them as the oldest of people, older than any other tribe dwelling on the planet since the beginning of time. There is a striking resemblance between the ant people of the Hopi and the mysterious Anunnaki of the ancient Sumerians. In Hopi legend, the ant people possessed great knowledge of all things. They took the Hopi under their wing, so to speak, teaching them how to survive, how to build stronger dwellings out of rock, and how to understand cosmic cycles. They also taught the Hopi the basics of things like mathematics and astronomy. It was thanks to the knowledge of the ant people that the Hopi were able to prosper and thrive as a highly advanced civilization in North America. The story is nearly identical to the one on the other side of the world. In ancient Mesopotamia, the Sumerians worshipped the Anunnaki. The Sumerians believed the Anunnaki came from the stars with the same wisdom as the ant people. They taught the Sumerians math, astronomy, physics, and other sciences that helped them advance as a society. Some say the Anunnaki were a race of aliens who came to Earth to mine our resources and enslave humanity, but that might not be the case at all. If these beings were real, as ancient legends from across the world seem to suggest, they may not have had such malicious intent. They may have come from the stars to help all of the early people of the world enter a new era of civilization. Ancient astronaut theorists believe that with the knowledge gifted by these mysterious visitors, people like the Hopi and the Sumerians were able to move beyond Stone Age living and into a more modern age, and this may have been the catalyst for our modern world. What do you think? Outside help or were just ancient cultures really smart? Let me know in the comments below. And now for number 6. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Coutlaw and Janet Smith. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number 6. The Legend of the Christmas Spider If you've ever celebrated Christmas before, you've probably decorated a Christmas tree. And if you've decorated a Christmas tree, you've probably used your fair share of tinsel. But did you know tinsel is only a common Christmas tree decoration because of the bizarre tale of the Christmas spider? The legend of the Christmas spider likely originated in Germany or Ukraine several hundred years ago. The legend states that there was once a poor widow living in a small hut with her children. She was a hard-working woman, but hardly had enough to provide for her kids. Then, one year, a pine cone fell on the floor in the middle of their hut, and a pine tree began to grow. The children cared for the tree, hoping it would grow big and strong in time for Christmas. They wanted to decorate the tree, but the widow didn't have enough money. The children went to sleep on Christmas Eve disappointed, but woke in the morning to see the tree decorated in shiny silk webs. During the night, a spider had decorated the tree with its webs. And when the morning light hit those webs, the strands turned into pure silver and gold, and the widow was rich. Ever since, Europeans have been decorating their trees with tinsel. Even though the story of the Christmas spider may sound absurd, you might say the story of Santa and his elves sounds even more unbelievable. What do you think? Do you like the story of the Christmas spider? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Elongated Skulls – Aliens or Elites 
For decades now, archaeologists have been discovering mysterious skulls in South America that look like they belong to an entirely different race of beings. These skulls are teardrop-shaped, elongated in the back so that they look like they belong to aliens with gigantic brains. When they first started being found, nobody knew what to think. Most of these skulls are 700 years old or older, and they look like they're from a galaxy far, far away. However, scientists say the elongated Peruvian skulls have nothing to do with aliens. Instead, they represent a distinct ruling class that dominated South America. There are two trains of thought on this. Mainstream scientists say these skulls were the result of cranial deformation. During infancy, the babies of elite people were bound with fabric or wooden boards, forcing the skull to develop tall and thin. The result would have been extremely easy to see. Members of the higher social class could be recognized because of their long skulls. Bioarchaeologist Matthew Velasco from Cornell University says the cranial modifications were used to unite the powerful elite. This likely strengthened inequality and polarization. The other train of thought is that Peru was ruled by aliens. There are those who believe that mainstream scientists are lying. Some say there was a race of highly advanced beings with huge brains living among us, and that they are still among us right now. Number 4. The Legend of the Mexican Princess The legend of the Mexican princess has been around since the days of the Aztec Empire, or rather since the fall of the Aztec Empire. Her name was Malintzin, and she was supposedly born in the early 1500s somewhere in Veracruz, Mexico. She belonged to the indigenous group the Nahuas and was made a slave at a young age. She was a little more than a teenager when she was given as a gift to Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés shortly after his arrival in 1519. 500 years later, Malintzin is still a mysterious and controversial figure. She's been described as the secret weapon of Cortés, the key piece used in bringing down the Aztec Empire and allowing the Spanish to conquer Mexico. According to the legends, Malintzin used her talents with language to help the Spanish on their way to victory. She warned the conquistadors about the secret ambush planned by Aztec King Moctezuma in Cholula. She helped Cortés secure alliances with Aztec enemies, and she even allegedly converted natives to Catholicism. Some stories say she had a son with Hernán Cortés, the first mixed-race child in Latin America. Number 3. The Sumerian Airport the Iraqi transport minister made some bizarre claims recently. Kazem Finjan told the press that the first airport in the world was built in Dikar, Iraq, 7,000 years ago. He went on to claim the Sumerians of Mesopotamia traveled to the planet Pluto using their own spaceships. This would have been before the invention of the wheel. It's a shocking thing to hear, especially coming from an official minister, but it's definitely not the first time such a thing has been suggested. Sumer was one of the first societies that formed on this planet. They were some of the first to settle southern Mesopotamia around 5,500 BC. Once settled, the Sumerians developed agricultural technology. They started to trade with other groups nearby. They practiced artistic skills like weaving and working with pottery. The Sumerians were one of the first truly artistic civilizations, and they also built great cities and monuments from stone. For example, the Ziggurat of Ur, a tiered pyramid that rivaled Khufu's pyramid in Egypt. As for the controversy of the first airport, we don't have any physical proof of it. Sure, there could have been a landing strip in the lands of Sumer used by someone with advanced flying technology. However, all archaeological evidence points to that not being true. As far as science is concerned, the first human being in space was Russian pilot Yuri Gagarin in 1961. But hey, this statement was probably great for publicity. Number 2. Manipulating DNA one of the most critical beliefs of the ancient astronaut theorist is that human beings had their DNA manipulated by more advanced life forms. They say a mysterious group, perhaps the Anunnaki, tinkered with our DNA to kickstart human evolution and societal advancement. There is also a belief that ancient cultures knew about the third eye, a very real thing located in the pituitary gland of the brain. 
The third eye is frequently depicted as a pine cone, since that's what it looks like. It's interesting because pine cones can be found throughout ancient artwork dating back to the height of Mesopotamia. Somehow, ancient people had a deep understanding of these things. But how is the third eye connected to the advanced beings who supposedly manipulated our DNA? That is a very difficult question to answer. The truth is that scientists still don't know what most of our DNA does. Nobody understands what creates consciousness or what kind of energetic influences can change DNA. Some researchers have speculated human DNA could be connected to our spiritual beings. All we really know is that the ancient civilizations understood DNA and spiritual power. Take the Sumerian double helix snake god Istaran as an example, seen in ancient artworks as a depiction of the DNA helix. Number 1. The Earliest Stonehenge According to Cambridge University, a shocking new discovery has been made involving Stonehenge. Archaeologists uncovered a dismantled stone circle not far from the bluestone quarries in West Wales. These quarries were the same ones used for mining the stones that make up Stonehenge. What's really interesting is that the dismantled stone circle seems to support the possibility that Stonehenge itself was built from a much earlier stone circle. The radiocarbon dating of the new discovery places it at around 5000 BC. That was right before the initial construction of Stonehenge. The imprints left behind by the moved stones shows the circle was oriented on the midsummer solstice. The suggestion here is that Stonehenge was built using the remnants of an older stone circle, built about 140 miles away. That means a group of prehistoric humans dismantled the stone circle like it was a campsite. Then they carried the multi-ton stones across almost all of Britain, finally rebuilding the circle on Salisbury Plain. Nobody knows why they did this or even how. It's difficult for scientists to come up with a possible motivation for moving Stonehenge other than the stones were believed to have some magical properties. Some have suggested the stones acted as a stargate, allowing ancient Britons to communicate with beings from space. Thanks for watching! Which of these strange ancient stories did you find the most intriguing? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!